Hey everybody, what's up? So, today we're gonna be testing the Amtec Flux. This is authentic universal Amtec Taki Flux, which costs 15 bucks on Amazon, and this is Chinese 2 bucks Amtec Flux from AliExpress. I'll put the links to all this stuff down below in the description. The original Amtec Flux comes with a proper size plunger and a needle inside of this business card. Chinese Flux comes with a small plunger Wiggle wiggle, it's still usable, but very annoying. And we also have two same size or gauge needles here. As you can see, the difference in color is pretty obvious. The fake flux is amber colored and it seems to have quite a lot of rosin content. The consistency of the original flux is quite thin, smooth and transparent. The fake one is a little bit thicker and both have sweet, barely noticeable smell. There's also stuff like this on the market, I don't want to even test it. It produces so much smoke and fumes which smell like a chemical disaster. Alright, so let's do some tests to see what we're dealing with. I have this practice PCB board and some teeny tiny components. So let's start with the original Amtec flux. I'm gonna apply the proper amount of flux on these pads. Okay, that's enough. For this test I'm gonna use this solder. It's actually one of the best solders I've ever seen on the market. For a long time I was using this castor solder and it's really high quality product, but the same amount of solder with the same quality costs just under 20 bucks, including shipping, so why not switch? Ok, so this is flux cord solder wire, which already contains the correct amount of flux. In order to make the nature of our experiment more clear, I will apply a small amount of solder to the tip of the iron and wait for a few seconds until the flux melts and burns out. As you can see, this flux works really well and we got two shiny solder pads. Let's try to solder some components. Absolutely excellent flow of solder onto the pads and into the pins, and it gives nice shiny finish. The remaining flux can be easily removed with rubbing alcohol. So now let's repeat the same process with the fake Amtec flux. You can't really tell the difference. Both fluxes perform very well. The real stuff flows nicely and it's very easy to clean. That's the only difference I've noticed. I also want to show you guys this flux pen. I'm a big fan of no clean flux pens. It's a really nice application method. The flux spreads really nicely, it doesn't leak and you can easily refill it. So basically the same 10 milliliters of flux will last you a very long time. As you can see, the solder joints are not that shiny, but anyway, it works and there is no smoke and tacky residue. Finally, let's see how these fluxes deal with heavily oxidized components. I have this old PCB laminate with oxidized copper layer. So, here's the authentic flux, the fake one, and the flux pen. The real stuff seems to work quite well. The fake flux in this case is nowhere near as good as the real stuff. And finally the flux pen. Surprisingly we got a really good result. So as you can see both fluxes perform very well. I was very skeptical about the fake Amtec flux, but it turned out to be a really good product, especially considering the price. So I will definitely use both fluxes for different applications.